what's going on. The iPhone X is coming out in about a couple of hours. I'm trying to find some stores to go to right now. I almost try not to break the camera because it's currently just kind of chilling on my dash. If it's shaking, it's a little bit spooky, but what I'm trying to say is iPhone X is coming out in about, uh, I would say, 10 minutes at Target. So I'm going to go check out the Target to see if they have an iPhone X. If not, I'm going to head over to Best Buy and check that out at some other locations. Hey, it's lit. Hey. Uh, so we're at Verizon, they have a few iPhone X's for display. Check this thing out, dude. So I just picked up the 64 gigabyte iPhone X, the silver one right over here. I'm gonna check this thing out. Oh, snap. So I've been using the phone for about a couple of hours and I gotta say, it's a very different style of phone for sure. It, it definitely feels different from the iPhone 7 Plus that I currently have. And it will take some time to get used to, but it's pretty cool. I gotta say, for the features of it, it's pretty cool. Um, would I pay a thousand bucks for it? I would, but some other people might be like, eh, it's not really worth a thousand bucks, but I think it's a pretty nice phone for sure. It's definitely a cool upgrade, and it will take some time to get used to, especially with the size of the phone and all the weird multitasking features and stuff. But anyway, so the 256 gigabyte one, I waited an hour in Verizon. They told me they had it, but it turns out they don't have it, so. Rip. But anyways, so I went to a bunch of other stores. We went to multiple Best Buys, Best Buy Mobile, Costco's, Walmart, Target, and all those other stores. And those stores do not have any 256 gigabytes in stock. So they didn't receive any of them to sell to others. It was only for pre-orders, unfortunately. Uh, but they did have a few 64 gigabytes in stock. Now they're all gone. So it sold out pretty quick. And I don't really live in a popular area in a way so it's kind of easy to get these kind of things here but anyways so i was able to actually get myself another iphone x oh snap look at this thing so it's gonna be used for a giveaway this is the space gray 64 gigabyte iphone x i got it from a best buy that my friend knows and um yeah so we'll be doing a giveaway on this but first things first let's do an unboxing So it's time to unbox the iPhone X, man. Look at this thing. Well, I already did unbox it, but let me just re-unbox it for you guys. So over here, this is the front. Now, the only difference that I noticed with these two boxes, this is obviously black over here. Over here. You can see it's kind of black. Uh, this is silver. Also, the background's different. Yeah, it is. Check it out. And then the logo's here. This is gray. I mean, <laughs> it's not gray. That's silver, and this is space gray, or, or black, pretty much. Okay. And then over this side, it's different colors. Same thing on this side, and same thing on this side. All right, so let's unbox this. Here we go. Here we go open this thing up. Okay, nothing under here. And then this is like the little paper things that they got. Oh, the Apple logo. Look at this thing. Oh, all right. And then we got the phone. Come here. Get out. Get, get, get out. Oh, 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 it's gone. Okay, there we go. There's the phone. And then it comes with a simple charger, the headphones, and then kaboom, the wires. So. Very basic things, you always see this in an Apple product, and that's pretty much about it. Now don't forget guys, you gotta read these things that come with the iPhone next, bro. Yo, this is, this is important. All right, we got hello. Uh-huh. Okay, there's, there's a sidebar and stuff. Uh-huh. Yep, do not eat, do not swallow, do not throw out the window. Okay, all right, cool, got it, hey. So here we have two iPhone Xs. We have the iPhone X Space Gray, so the 64 gigabyte version over here. Then we have the iPhone X Silver one, also 64 gigabytes. Now I have not opened the Space Gray. What I'm gonna do with this one, I'm gonna give it to my mom. Um, and then this is the one I'm gonna currently just keep until I get the 256 gigabyte version. And then I'll figure out what I'll do with this one. But over here, let me let me show you guys this the size comparisons over here, man. Check this out. So this right here is the iPhone 7 Plus. This is the iPhone X Silver, and this is the iPhone 6S. So this this is Ariel's, this is mine, and this is also mine. Now, as you can see, the iPhone 7 is huge compared to the iPhone X, and then the iPhone X compared to the iPhone 6S, it's still bigger. Now, for the screen resolution, so as you can kind of see, the iPhone X has a bigger screen than the um, iPhone 7 Plus, but the width-wise is different. Man, just, just keep turning up, bro. Stop turning up, damn it. Yeah, so as you can kind of see, so if I just put this right on top, right here, wider, but the iPhone X is bigger. 
which is pretty cool. And then you compare the iPhone 6S to this thing. Oh, bro, that's tiny, man. This is so tiny, bro, look at that. So the differences between the iPhone X and the previous phones, there is no home button anymore, as you can see. The only bezel you will see is over here. It's got a sensor, the camera, and the speaker. And the bezel is taking up the entire screen. So they remove the home button, as you can see. And the way this thing works now is you can either put a passcode in, okay? Or you set up Face ID when you first get the phone, which just kind of like scans your face around and stuff. And then when you look at it, like when you fully look at it, it will say unlock over here. Because you can see it will say unlock here. And then you just swipe up and then kaboom. And if it doesn't work, just put your passcode in and then you're Gucci. Now, some people are probably wondering how the videos are going to work on this phone. So when you're watching YouTube, the way it's going to work is going to be like a square in a way. Or like not a square, like a rectangle. So this part will be cut out. Now, on some videos, you can actually expand it. So then this bezel, um, so then this whole entire resolution goes throughout here and you'll see the video, but there will be this weird black bar here to kind of interrupt. So it's it's very strange how it works and getting used to this is definitely very different as there's like gestures now you gotta use and so on. Like for example, like taking a screenshot, it's gonna be the power button and then the up button at the same time and then it takes a screenshot, okay? And then you can also edit your edit the, all the, the screenshots and stuff and all that cool things, okay? Now to turn it off, I believe it's these two buttons together. If you hold on the volume down and volume up, you can actually turn it off now. And that's about it. Now this part all around the phone is definitely very different. So it's metal all around. I'm pretty sure it's metal, right? Yes, yeah, so it's gonna be metal all around the phone. As you can see now on the old iPhones, it's a different finish on it. Yeah, so it's definitely very different. And then the volume buttons are the same. The mute button is the same. The speakers are the same, same with the charger. And this power button is much, much bigger. So as you can kind of tell, the power button is way bigger on the iPhone X for the gestures and stuff. Awesome. So then the top, nothing there. And that's about it. Awesome. And there's no, uh, there's no headphone jack because, hey, man, who needs, who needs a headphone jack, right? So the back of the iPhone X, as you can see, the camera is in a completely different position. It's a double, it's a double camera. Same with the iPhone 7 Plus, except now there is a flash in between it and a microphone, so that's actually really, really cool. And then the logos are the same, and this text that used to be here is now removed, and there's a glass back, so that's pretty much about it, man. So let me show you some like really cool features on the phone and how like, the gestures and stuff work. So like, like I said before, the power button and then the volume up will take a screenshot, power button and then volume down. If you hold it long enough, it will turn off the phone. And then if you go from the top right, you have like all your control settings here, okay? And then over this side, it will pretty much bring down the notification menu. If I can get it, come in. There we go. That's the notifications, okay? And then if we go back up like this, and then you swipe from the bottom, you kind of hold a little bit, you will be taken to your recently used applications. Now, I have not really learned how to clear these things, unfortunately, but overall, it's very, very cool. It's very, very smooth. Another cool feature over here, by the way, if you do want to check your battery, you just gotta like go from the top, swipe it down, it's gonna open up the command center thing, and then kaboom, your battery is right there. Now let me show you guys this camera. So this camera focuses insanely quick. It reminds me of the S7, actually like how it focuses extremely quick. So it's like, it's hard to tell, but uh, boom, boom. It just focuses very, very quickly. And the cool thing is with a front facing camera, it's hard to tell right now, but uh, if you go to portrait mode, you have these cool settings where you can change things that you got like studio lighting and stuff. You get this really dope effect here. So for example, let me show you guys. Okay, and if you go into here, Depending, if you do it right, it's gonna like highlight a yellow and then it'll do some like really, really cool effects. So I gotta say, it's really, really dope um, and it's very, very detailed with the camera quality. So when I first started texting on this phone, this tripped me out hardcore. Like seeing the display just go up over here and then you see like your battery and stuff. It was so trippy, but super cool at the same time. And then texting just feels very smooth and then as you can see there's a lot of space in between the bottom so you have your emojis here your volume and then if you just swipe up kaboom just minimize it and that's it man so ignore this number here it's not a real number by the way so don't try to call or anything but if you click this button over here it expands out your animal emojis as you can see it's very very trippy you have all these things down on the bottom and then you have your uh the anim any any emojis animal emojis whatever it's called and if you swipe up, kaboom, you can choose whatever you want. You got the monkey, the robot, cat, dog, pig, poop emoji. <laughs> Look at this dude. Oh. <laughs> All right, and then you got uh, the fox, alien, uh, the panda, the rabbits, 
chicken and then the unicorn. All right, so the animal emojis. These things are super funny. I love these things so much, especially doing the karaoke and emoji thing. So it's when you like just play some music in the background and just kind of like you know, throw the karaoke near it. I mean, the karaoke with it. It's super trippy, but let me show you guys a clip. I love it. It's just so funny, especially like the karaoke stuff, like where you just play the music and you just kind of sing along with it. Oh, how you doing? <laughs> Hello, my name is Cyclone. Meow, 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 meow. Big fist. This is so derpy. Yo, yo, you ready? I see your future. Hey, I. Oh, oh, oh. It's so trippy. So. I read up somewhere that it mimics about 50 of your facial expressions or something like that. Oh, the pig. Oh, hey, what's going on, guys? I'm the pig. And then you got the panda. Oh, I'm a panda! It's so spooky. I love the chicken, though. <laughs> hey! Hey! Hey, how you doing? Yo! Yo, is that Ariel? Yo, yo, what's up, bro? Hey, yo, you wanna play some Minecraft? What you, what you looking at, man? What? You got a, you got a problem, bro? You got a, hey! It's so trippy. Yo, I, what if they updated it and you can like move your tongue with it? Try to break into my phone now while I'm sleeping. Try it? You done? So when I have my eyes open, it works just fine. So come close a little bit. Come over here. Show this off. So real quick. Let's say I close my eyes, okay? So I close my eyes and then I try to open it. It shouldn't work. Yeah, but then when I open my eyes, it works. It's very, very strange. Now, I actually read up somewhere that twins were able to break into the iPhone X. So, twins, if you have a twin, try it out. See if they can get to your iPhone X if you do have one. So, it's, yeah, it's very, very interesting. But let's say I close my eyes. You can't really open it. And then I open it. Oh, wait, hold up. It did, it did it. Wait. All right, I close my eyes. I, I just kind of chill right here. Nope, doesn't work. And then when I open my eyes... Boom, it unlocks. It's so trippy, dog. It's super trippy. Now, let's try photos. So, let's try photos and then, like, I'm sleeping. So, like, I mean, when you're sleeping, your eyes are closed. You're just like. <laughs> All right, let's, let's get my phone out real quick and let's try out if you can get through here with a picture. So, here's a picture of my face. Let's see if this works. So, let's just turn this off real quick, okay? Now, the cool thing is, by the way, if you just tap it, that also just kind of turns on the phone in a way. So, is it working? No, I see. It buzzed a little bit. Let me try again. <laughs> it's so trippy, dog. A little bit closer. Oh! Oh, snap! It worked! So, round two. Here we go, man. Let's do a little bit of a close up. Come on. You wanna work? Oh. Okay. Didn't work. One more time. It unlocked. It unlocked. What? So, you might be able to break in here with a picture. Huh. I don't know, it's tough, cause like I'm holding the phones, so if, if it even gets like an angle on my face, like for example over here, if it gets like an angle on my face, it will so, it will kind of like unlock a little bit. It's like for example, we do like it like this or something. It might unlock it. Nah, it's so trippy, cause it worked twice, and now I'm kind of scared, cause I'm like, wait, what if someone uses my photo to break into my phone? What if we zoom into the face? Let's try that out. Here we go. Zoomed in. Nothing, no response. It's like bugging out right now. I'm so confused what's going on. <laughs> Hello? You want to open? Yes. You want to open? No? You don't want to open? Now it's not working at all. It's so weird, dude. All right, so for the first impressions that I had when using the iPhone X and when I first got it, it was a very different feel to it, and it, it took some time to get used to it again because I kept like trying to hit the home button and stuff, and it's just such a small phone. It just feels very, very small. Um, I don't know, it's just like a whole other experience, honestly. And it was kind of like a little different at first. It was very trippy. Uh, but then when I started using it more and more, and then I realized how smooth it was, 
I loved it. I loved it. And then I want to try out the uh, the Animoji feature. Uh, hilarious. That thing is so fun to mess with, bro. The Animoji feature is hilarious. So overall, guys, I love the phone. It's pretty simple. Like, for example, even unlocking the phone out is super simple. Just gotta look at it. It's like, oh, it's Gucci, man. And then I love the whole entire gesture thing that's got set up. Uh, very smooth phone, like I've said. The resolution, I mean, the display on this phone looks amazing. The camera, the speakers are perfect. I love it, man. It's got a lot of cool features. So overall, definitely worth it. At first, I was like, thousand bucks is a little bit too much. But when you get more and more of using the phone for like a couple of days, you're like, okay, this is pretty cool. I gotta keep this thing. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that is about it for today's video, man. The iPhone X is it's very different. It's incredible, and the it kind of like just kind of shows that the technology is getting there. Like it's getting to like crazy things that you just really didn't imagine that would happen. So anyways, I'm super excited to keep on using this phone, guys. Maybe in the future I will do a giveaway on my Instagram or something. I can't do a giveaway on YouTube because it's against the terms and policy and I want to break that, obviously. But anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Subscribe, stop that bell, make sure you go watch some other Life of Moose videos. Leave a like and comment down below what do you guys want to see next. Pranks, challenges, vlogs, all the good stuff. We're also in the process of moving to Miami, so we will be recording a bunch of cool videos in the office. Some like crazy stuff before we do leave. And then once we do leave, man, Miami's gonna be a whole other environment. Expect some crazy vlogs in Miami with my boy Ariel on my shock point and other cool things. But anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Thank you so much, guys, and I love y'all. Bye. Bye.